Generally, when we think of sources of energy for life, we tend to think of light. But at the bottom of the ocean, where light can't reach, chemical energy becomes a really important source of energy for life. And a methane seep is one such source of energy. But these are places where methane gas is trapped underneath the seafloor and slowly escapes up through the sediment, where it is a source of energy for life at the bottom of the ocean where light cannot reach. So we'd been making our way up this ridge and I think Hannah was in the room and she said, what's that? And we zoomed in and we saw just teeny, teeny, teeny little bubbles of methane coming out from underneath. Oh my God. Oh. We do want to stop here, yes, absolutely. Oh and the room just erupted. <laughs> These kinds of sites are really interesting because it provides us a look at an ecosystem where light is not an available source of energy and chemistry is really the primary source of energy. So these are um, relevant for understanding life maybe on early Earth or perhaps also life on other worlds. This is the deepest methane seep that's ever been located off of Chile and the furthest north, which is very exciting. But I think it's a very exciting opportunity um, to form collaborations with some of the local Chilean scientists who I know have been searching for these seeps for a long time. It gives us another location to better understand these really interesting, really fascinating communities. Actually, uh, Nick had a great quote about it. He said, it begins and ends with bacteria. I was like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs>